Hello everybody, this is Arathus and welcome back to RimWorld 40k. So you'll see that a lot of stuff is actually different because the horrible, horrible bitch that is uh, OBS, OBS, whatever the fuck you want to call that recording software, uh, decided to completely freak out and for whatever reason I couldn't reload earlier saves. So I was not able to pick up right where I left off in the last episode. So this is the earliest save I could find, the earliest autosave. And in this situation, I'll just explain what has happened. Uh, because I couldn't launch my pod launchers as a group uh, because of the way they were built, I had to bring them down here and make them completely adjacent. And since I very rarely, if ever, I don't think I've ever been attacked from this side, this seemed like the best place to build the pod launchers outside the base. Also, we got hit with one of the biggest manhunter packs I have ever fucking seen. And wouldn't you know it, they were all boom rats. And this right here is just the boom rats that have not been collected, butchered, or rotted away. There was like a blanket of boom rat corpses going from here up to here. We lost no one in that exchange. Just a bunch of fires and some damaged turrets, but they didn't make it into the base. Oh yeah, the boom rats actually, some of them made it over here. Now, the other thing that happened is we launched a raid. We'll see what happens here in a second. When the world map loads, so I can show you exactly where we fucking went. Okay. So, there used to be, right here, a face beater rig camp. We attacked it, annihilated it with 10 people, but as you can see, only eight of us are coming back. And they're almost back right now. They have one day and four hours. Now, the reason we lost those two was not in the battle, but the original plan was to kill here and then move either here or just come back home. Right around here, when they were still five days out from home base, two of our members of our team contracted malaria and died on the road. At the same time, back at our home base, six different people contracted malaria and 10 different people contracted uh, the flu. And as you can see, a lot of people are in the hospital dealing with that right the fuck now. So yeah, it's been a rough, rough couple of days for the colony. And I don't know why the game volume is off. Let's turn that back on. But yeah, it's been a rough couple of days for the Tanith first and only. So what we're going to do is we're just going to chill and let our colony comes back, like our new our raiding party come back. And we have all of these smoke leaf joints. So hopefully our people can get back, celebrate, and enjoy. So let's see. Also, one of the things that's going to happen in this episode is we're going to load up the escape vessel and take off, which means that this will be the final episode of this particular RimWorld series. Um, trying to decide how I want to handle the escape, because there are several different options available to me to handle that escape. Um, I, mean, I could load everybody up and just take the fuck off. But, kind of the little narrative that's going on in my head, the little story that I'm thinking about right now, I think what I'd like to do, I think it'd be a great lore ending for this series, is that we send half of our colony back to the Imperium via the ship, and the other half stay here to make this a colony slash outpost slash recruiting post for the Tanith first and only. Uh, where they can train, recruit, they can train and recruit new soldiers, and also it makes me feel a little bit better because we're not abandoning 40 German Shepherds, a fox, a tortoise, and a boom, boom rat? Yeah, boom rat. I think we also have a boomalope somewhere, don't we? Thought we did. No, yeah, we do, right here. So yeah, you know, basically, you know, divide it up. Some people choose to settle this colony permanently, the others return to fulfill their duty to the Emperor and the Imperium. So, let's see how that plays out, because we might just get fucking raided, or our new colonists may, our raiding party may actually die on the road. 
Which they didn't. They just showed up, thank God. Alright. So. While I am trying to decide how I'm going to end the series, one thing I would like you guys to know, if you guys are fans of the RimWorld series, do not worry about like the series ending because let me pause this for a second because once i uh because there's a lot of mods out there for this game so if if i find another like huge conversion mod like the astra militara mod i will be more than happy to come back to the game provided it changes some enough to make it like a new game not a whole new game but enough to make it more interesting because of the new mechanics uh for example there's the medieval a full conversion mod that I have been considering, um, including a mod that makes it so that there are no high-tech weapons on it. It just basically turns the whole planet into a feudal world. I know there's a zombie mod. I know there's a, like, Cthulhu-themed or Lovecraft-themed uh, mod that will allow you to fight otherworldly creatures, and you have to worry about sanity, and your equipment and shit is basically like a weird mesh of like it's a weird combination of stuff but it's mostly like late 1800s or early 1900s gear it's it actually looks pretty cool so i'm considering a couple of those and you know in the in the future and if you guys have any of those full conversion mods like that that you'd like to see me play them please 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 let me know in the comments tweet at me whatever um send me a message on youtube i don't care however you guys want to handle it uh because i would really like to see some of those mods and i'm always interested to find a new one so yeah if one of those seems interesting i might come back and make a whole playthrough on that one in addition uh there was a post a few days ago a few days maybe a week ago I'm not sure the exact timing from the developer saying that he or she i'm not sure oh i'm pretty sure it's not a team though i think it's still one person is working on the biggest mod not biggest mod, Jesus. Biggest update the game has seen to date, which is crazy because the Alpha 16 update, the Wanderlust one that we're playing right now, and that this is my second series on, was fucking massive. It added the caravans, it added the world map, it added being able to raid other people. It was huge. And for this other one, the Alpha 17, to be referred to as the biggest one they've ever done, has got me really curious and really excited because I really want to see what else they add to this game. I mean, this game is going to be... This game's already fucking amazing. It's going to be even more so when it's done. So when that... Um, so yeah, when that is released... And let me, let me just say, though, I have no clue when it's going to be released. There wasn't a release date mentioned on the post... And I saw the post on Steam, so if any of you guys want to look it up, it's on Steam, the post. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's on their website as well, uh, the developer's website. But either way, um, even if I don't come back for a series using the full conversion mod, what do you mean animal starvation? Keiko, why are you starving? There is food everywhere. Okay, anyway. Yeah, um, even if I don't come back for a full conversion mod, because one didn't catch my attention or I'm busy with another game, I will definitely, there's no way in hell I am not going to do a series on Alpha 17 when it comes out. Because one, I fucking love this game, and two, a massive update like that sounds fucking interesting, even if I don't know what's actually going to be in the Alpha 17 update. So, yeah, just wanted to get that out there just so you guys know that if you are a huge fan of, like, either RimWorld in general or my playthroughs of RimWorld. I can only hope, right? <laughs> um, I will definitely be coming back to the series at some point, whether it be through a mod or that huge new update. Okay, so with that being said, we're going to take some of our colonists down here. We are definitely taking Arathus and his wife, Ryder. We're going to take Ray, Trophim... Uhar, Kramer, Kimmy, Sveg, Sveg, or Svej, Gundozer, Chugger, Lucky. I believe.
believe that is, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Uh, let's go with three more. NG, Fox, don't like you, Tiffy, but we'll take you. And let's go with Blaze. So what that lets us take is, let's see, it's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That lets us take a little bit more than half the colony with us. So let's let all those people get loaded up for the escape while the rest are allowed to stay behind to protect the outpost, recruit more soldiers for the first and only, and also take care of our animals. Even though that one is still apparently desperately in need of food, I don't know why. Somebody needs to feed the damn dog. Okay. Anyway, regardless... Yeah, and I, you know, we're going to escape now. And this will be the final episode of the RimWorld 40k series. So, with that being said, let's blast off and we will leave this in the, leave this colony, this outpost, whatever you want to call it, in the capable hands of Shog, who probably wants to chill here anyway because his wife, Cummings, is buried over here, along with our initial two German shepherds. And some of the colonists we've lost over the course of of our time in this hellish place. So away we go. I can't wait for there to be like an animation here aside from this. So these colonists escaped, these colonists were left behind. Not technically left behind, all right? They've got a badass base that can protect them from just about anything on that planet. Your AI will now try to guide the ship to a safe place. It might find a prosperous planet for you in the system, or it may undertake a centuries-long journey to another star. It might even decide to hide under ice on an asteroid for a few thousand years, waiting for someone to build a new glitter world here. You'll find out when you wake up. So yeah. Okay, it looks like I was completely wrong. There is not just one person working on this game anymore. Okay, well that's cool then. <laughs> Either way, uh... Yeah, like I said, I love this game. I really love what the Astra Militarum mod brought to the table because, goddamn, I love 40K. I love RimWorld. That combination was cool. And I like that the mod did more than just add some skins. I mean, it gave you armor. It gave you new crafting benches. It gave you new technologies to research. It gave you a shit ton of new weapons and defenses. If I had any complaints about the Astra Militarum mod, is it does make the game a little bit too easy. I mean, there at the end, that boom uh Manhunter pack and the fucking raids we experienced earlier should have been a bigger threat than they actually were. So maybe, if, you know, make the Urlock Gar storyteller more aggressive. Because the other thing that was weird is that we were surrounded by a lot more... Um, of the Vraxian Renegade Militia places, the Trader Regiments, than we were of the Face Beater Rig, but we kept getting attacked by the Face Beater Rig and rarely faced a problem from the, um, rarely had to fight the Vraxians. And you would think them being Trader Guard Regiments and us being Imperium Regiments, you would think we'd have to face more threats from them. Which I think would have been cool because then we could have fought against the Imperial weapons in the mod, which are a lot more powerful than the vanilla shit that the, um, well, the vanilla and the Halo stuff that the, um, face beater rig was bringing against us. So, you know, I could have, I would have liked some, um, a little bit more difficulty, maybe make it so your biggest, um, antagonist when you have this mod in are the traitor regiments. You know, or at least give you a couple different, a couple higher difficulty settings. Uh, because Erlok Gar is, I had him at his highest difficulty setting, but that was still one or two settings below the vanilla storytellers, which is kind of odd. But either way, it was a lot of fun. I liked everything that it added. So, with that being said, I highly recommend that you try out both RimWorld and um, the Astra Militarum mod if you've already got RimWorld. And yeah, thank you everybody so much for your support and for watching this episode and the entire series. And if you enjoyed either the series or the episode, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of those actions that suits you today. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next series or for some 
if you guys are particularly interested in just my RimWorld stuff, I'll see you in the next RimWorld series for Alpha 17 or a one of the more interesting or appealing full conversion mods for the game. Once again, everybody, thank you so very much for watching.